Good morning, learners. Our subject for today is Mathematics 5 for Quarter 3, Week 5. And our topic is Solid Figures. For the MELC, our most essential learning competencies, so we have visualizes and describes solid figures, makes models of different solid figures like cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using plane figures. In this lesson, you will visualize and describe solid figures and make models of different solid figures. As a learner, you are expected to A. Identify the different solid figures B. Visualize the solid figures and how to make solid figures and C. Describe the attributes of solid figures and enjoy their functional use in their daily life. Have you seen an architect? Okay, the one in the picture is an architect. Is architecture and the architect the same? And what are the shapes used by the architects to build buildings? So we will find out as we discuss our lesson for today. So there were different three-dimensional shapes around us. There were many solid objects. Can you identify one? Most of the objects around us have three dimensions. We have the length, the width, and the height. Solid figures are three-dimensional figures. And a three-dimensional object has length, width, and height. Moreover, they may have faces, edges, and vertices. A face is the flat surface of a solid figure, while edge is formed when two faces meet, and an edge is a straight line segment, and a vertex is a point where edges meet. Solid figures are either polyhedron or non-polyhedron. A solid polyhedron if all its spaces are polygons. Otherwise, it is a polyhedron or non-polyhedron. A polyhedron may be a prism or a pyramid. A prism is made up of two parallel and congruent bases, which can be any polygon. The other faces are parallelograms. A prism is named after the shape of its base. If its base is a triangle, it is called a triangular prism. If it is a pentagon, it is called a pentagonal prism. A pyramid has only one base, which can also be any polygon. The other faces are triangle, which meet at a common vertex. A pyramid is also named after the shape of its base. If the base is a square, we will call it a square pyramid. If the base is triangle, we call it a triangular pyramid. And if the base is an octagon, we call it an octagonal pyramid. Here are the examples of solid figures. So we have cube, triangular prism, square pyramid, rectangular prism, sphere, triangular pyramid, the cylinder, and cone. And here are the faces, edge, and vertex of a solid figure. So we have the name of solid figure the number of faces, the number of edges or edge, the number of vertex or vertices. So the first solid figure is a cube, and cube has 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices.
Another is triangular prism. It has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. And we have also triangular pyramid. It has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. We have also square pyramid. It has five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. Then, we have rectangular prism. Rectangular prism is same as cube, which has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. We have also the spear. Spear has zero faces or face, zero edge, and zero vertex. Then we have the cylinder. Cylinder has three faces, two edges, and zero vertex. And the cone, we have one face, one edge, and one vertex. Based on the previous lesson, you have identified the different solid figures. Every solid figure has a pattern. The image that are drawn on a paper are indeed plain figures. Let's try to make a net for the solid figures. Now, what is a net? A net is a flat pattern that, when folded and taped together, builds a solid. For example, we have the net of a cube. So, kung gagawa tayo ng cube, so, we can follow this um, steps or we can have this net of a cube. And then, if you're going to make a rectangular prism, this is the net of a rectangular prism. And also, the net of a cylinder. Okay, so ang example niyan ay parang ano lang yan, parang um, division sign. Then we have also the net of a cone. So we have the curved surface and we have also the circle bottom. And we have the square base pyramid. So the net of a square base pyramid has one square and we have the four triangles. For the development for learning task 1, identify the solid figure for each object by matching column A to column B. Write the letters of your answer on the space provided. So for the column A, we have the following uh, objects. So we have the box of soap, camera stand, Christmas ornament, dice, domino, drum, full moon, ice cream holder, Mount Mayon, soccer ball. And for column B, we have A cone, B cube, C cylinder, D pyramid, E rectangular prism, and F we have the spear. Okay, so let us now answer learning task 1. So, Again, write the letters of your answer on the space provided. So, for the box of soap, letter E, rectangular prism. Camera stand, letter D, pyramid. Number 3, Christmas ornament, letter F, spear. Number 4, dice. So, we have cube. Domino. Letter E, rectangular prism. Then we have drum. Drum is a cylinder. Number seven, we have the full moon. And that is sphere. Ice cream holder. So we have cone. Number nine, Mount Mayon. That is also cone. And number ten, soccer ball. That is a sphere. Okay, so for learning task 2, match each of the following 3D shapes on column A to the appropriate net in column B. So write the letter of the correct answer 
on the space provided. So we have column A and then column B. Now let us answer learning task 2. So for number 1, that is a cube and the net of a cube is letter B. For number 2, this is a pyramid and the net of a pyramid is letter A. For number 3, this is a rectangular prism and the net of a rectangular prism is letter C. For number 4, this is a triangular prism and the net of a triangular prism is letter E. And number 5 is a cylinder and the net of a cylinder is letter D. For the engagement and learning task 3, identify each figure or solid figure. Write the answer on the space provided. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 figures. Okay, so it's time to check the answer for learning task 3. So for number 1, this is, okay, this is a rectangular prism. If your answer is this, you are correct. For number 2, the answer is cube. And for number 3, if your answer is cone, you are also correct. Number 4, if your answer is cylinder, you are also correct. And number 5, if your answer is triangular base pyramid, then you are correct. For the simulation learning task 4, make models of the following solid figure using cartolina. Okay, and these are what you are going to do. So we have the first figure which is a cube. The other one, you will make a rectangular prism. And we have also the pyramid and the cylinder and the last is the cone. Okay, for the assessment learning task 5, give the number of faces, edges, and vertices of the following objects and identify the solid figure for each object resembles. Okay. Okay, so let us now answer learning task 5. Okay, and here are the answers for learning task 5. So, this is actually based on what we had discussed about solid figures, you know, the number of faces, the number of edges, and the number of vertices. Okay, so if we have number 1 ball, it is a sphere, it has 0 face, zero edge and zero vertices or vertex. Number two is globe. So it is also a sphere. Uh, zero face, zero edge and zero vertex. Then number three, panel. Okay, so this is an example of a cone which has one face, one edge and one vertex. Number four is test room, cylinder. It has three faces two edges, and zero vertex. Number five is a tent. This is a rectangular pyramid. It has five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. Number six is dice. And this is an example of a cube, which has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Another is, we have number 7, ice cream cone. Of course, this is a cone, which has one face, one edge, and one vertex. Number 18, can. Okay, this is a cylinder, which has also three faces, two edges, and zero vertex. 
Number nine is party hat. So this is an example of a cone solid figure. We have one face, one edge, and one vertex. And for the last one, number 10, shoe box. So this is a rectangular prism which has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. For the reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I understand that. I realize that I need to learn more about. And that concludes our discussion about solid figures. Thank you very much. And God bless everyone.